Starting in the late 19th century, if you were to buy a pack of cigarettes in the U.S., chances are you'd come across one of these when opening the pack. A picture card with an athlete, celebrity, politician, philosopher, or inventor, and they were part of a series of cards distributed by that company intended to get customers to come back for more. Today, we know them as tobacco cards or cigarette cards, and the most widely collected picture cards among them are of baseball players. You've probably heard of the more famous of these sets, the T206 white border with its famous Honus Wagner card. More experienced collectors will know about Allen and Ginter, an old judge, and the T205 gold border sets. And all of these cards feature some of the most popular players at the time, like Ty Cobb, Christy Mathewson, Frank Chance, the opportunity to promote popular baseball players as a way to sell more tobacco was not lost on these companies. But it was also a chance for baseball fans to see the players they'd heard of in color for the first time. But what about seeing an entire team for the first time? What about instead of just one player, you got the full squad? That was the idea of one tobacco company in 1913. And the result was a beautifully designed set of 16 baseball cards that is unlike any others from this time period. The Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company started producing Fatima cigarettes in the 1870s. It was promoted as an exotic brand of cigarettes, a Turkish blend of tobacco that might be enticing to a more adventurous American smoker. The packaging even showed an Arabic woman along with other Turkish symbols like a crescent moon and stars to complete the brand identity. In 1913, Fatima cigarette tins came with one baseball team picture card, measuring 2 and 5 8 inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches. Each card shows the full squad of one of 16 different baseball teams, 8 from the American League and 8 from the National League. The teams were labeled with their city on the left and their league on the right. So the New York Americans card would be the New York Yankees, and the Pittsburgh Nationals would be the Pittsburgh Pirates. Not only were all members of the teams represented on these cards, but the players were labeled as well. Very few photos of full teams would have been widely available at the time due to the cost of photography, so these picture cards were some of the only photos available of these teams. And they were high quality photos too, printed on high gloss photographic paper stock as opposed to just cardboard. With over 350 players represented on just 16 cards, the Fatima cigarette cards are not only a beautiful collector's item for baseball fans, but they are a nice record-keeping tool of early 20th century baseball. For some players on these teams, this might have been the only card or photo they ever appeared on. This Pittsburgh Pirates card is a good example of this. It features the ever-elusive Honus Wagner who played shortstop on some very successful Pirates teams in the early 20th century. His reluctance to be featured on tobacco products makes this card one of his few offerings for collectors of high-end players during this time. But this card also has players like Ed Mincer, a short outfielder with an even shorter career in Pittsburgh. He's on this card, making it one of the few photos of Ed Mincer in history. The cards also showed managers and mascots, most of which had no other pictures made. A collector's item like this doubles as an historical artifact. For cards that are now over 110 years old, Fatima team cards have held up surprisingly well over time. This is in part due to the high quality photo paper they were printed on. But like most cards in this era, there are very few of these found in high grades. There have been 1,765 Fatima team cards submitted for grading at PSA, with only 9 receiving near mint or better grades. The majority of the cards submitted received no higher than a PSA 3. Naturally, getting your hands on one of these cards in high grades will cost you. In 2020, a Cleveland Indians card graded a PSA Near Mint 7 sold for over $18,000 at auction. And putting together a full 16 card set, even in low grade condition, might cost somewhere between $5,000 and $10,000. In 1913, tins of Fatima cigarettes cost only 15 cents. They came with 20 cigarettes and one team picture card. They quickly became one of the most popular cigarette brands in the country. 
And though the brand was discontinued in the 1980s, their legacy as a baseball card set and as an important historical artifact lives on forever. Thank <laughs> you.